Good morning, Panthers. Today is October 19th. Today we'll be introducing our new athletic director and the changes that will come with that. Also, our first That's So Random. And now for GEMS TV. Follow Gems TV on social media. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok under Gems TV 916. Attention 7th graders, there will be a registration info meeting for the East Coast 2025 trip this Thursday evening at 6.30 p.m. in the Spirit Center. Make sure to tell your parents to attend. This year, we have a new athletic director. Here's Davis with more. With a new school year, Ms. Mullen, our old athletic director, has taken over leadership. That will leave us with not only a new athletic director, but a new year, in a different way for GEM Sports. Now, who is the new athletic director? Here's more. Why did you take this position? Uh, I took the athletic director position, number one, because there was an opening, and number two is because I've been really involved in sports the entire time I've been a teacher. So. Um, I thought it'd be fun to kind of even get more involved with all the programs, not just my own. Now with a new lead in sports department, means they may, there may or may not be some changes made. They could be in the league or just our school. What are the changes coming to athletics? Uh, the biggest changes with athletics this year, number one, uh, girls flag football. That's a new sport that's starting in the spring. So instead of, instead of softball this year, girls flag football is gonna be a new sport. The other big thing we're testing out is uh, all-star game. So girls volleyball is gonna be the first sport that has all-star players from each team. And I guess if it goes well, then other sports are gonna be able to do it. And the way that it works is the team that wins the championship picks three teams, sorry, three players. Uh, and all the other playoff teams pick two players, and then anybody that doesn't make the playoffs picks one player for the All-Star game. What are the biggest needs for the sports programs? I think two things. I think recruitment, getting more kids to come out for sports is number one. And number two, I think um, fundraising and just getting each team more money so they can get newer uniforms, better equipment, like all that stuff. So just kind of getting everybody like to the next level up. Now with a new lead in sport in the sports department means there may or may not be some changes made. They could be in the league or just our school. There's no anime club this week. We will see you next week on October 25th. This Friday, students are being asked to wear pink for breast cancer awareness instead of our usual gems spirit shirts. Do you like snow? It won't be long before the first snow. We have the interest. Come to our first meeting to finalize our new club after school tomorrow in room A1. And now it's time for sports. Cross Country will have their ice cream team party in the quad on Wednesday, October 25th from 3 to 3.45. If you haven't turned in your jersey, bring it to the party. We look forward to celebrating the season with everyone one last time. Hockey players, the season starts next week. Our first game is Thursday, October 26th. If you would like, if you would play, must return a packet, fill it out, and return to the coaches by next Tuesday. Hockey packets are available in room A1 and A3. Don't miss out on the fun. Volleyball club will have some open gyms later this month. Tuesday, October 24th, 3 to 4.30 p.m. And Thursday, November 16th, 2 to 3.30 p.m. in the gym. Come by room A1 to sign up. The soccer club is going to be canceled this Friday, October 20th. We will resume again next Friday. Now back to Taylor and Avery.
Remember the Learning Center? Room B4 is open in the morning before school. Starting at 7 a.m., come by to, and receive any help, any class at, or grade level. Keep at it, Panthers, and earn those Panther bucks by keeping our hands and feet to, your, to yourselves. Teachers, please make sure to write the, the student's first and last name clearly. What are you dressing up for, Hall for Halloween? Here is our latest That's So Random. Hello, Panthers. Today we will be doing a That's So Random. We're going to be asking people what they're going to be for Halloween and why. What are you going to be for Halloween and why? I think for Halloween, I'm going to be a Disney princess because I love Disney princesses. Um, I haven't choose my friend yet, but like maybe a midget or like, you know, like a spider, yeah, or like spider girl. Okay. Thanks. What are you going to be for Halloween and why? I'm going to be a SWAT member, and I'm going to SWAT down people's houses. What are you going to be for Halloween and why? I think for Halloween this year, I am going to be dressing up as a Knights Templar. And the reason why is I'm a history teacher. I'm going to be Obi-Wan Kenobi. And, um, and the reason why is, a, is we just do fam family costumes every single year. Students are to be in the Spirit Center, the Quad, or the Blacktop for lunch only. Students are not to be in the hallways or the two-story building. If you, are eating, if you are eating, you must be at the tables in the Spirit Center or the Quad. No other location is permitted with food. If you are playing a sport during lunch, it is to be on the Blacktop. If you are not playing a sport, you are, you need, you, you are not to be on the Blacktop, and you need to stay in the Quad or the Spirit Center at the tables. The area near, near the gym and the music room is off-limits to all students during lunch. Students that are regularly not following these expectations will live will lose lunch privileges. Have a great day, Panthers. The company's like family from the top to the bottom and you feel that support no matter what part of the company you're in, you feel the support of the whole family. My dad, he's worked here for 28 years. My brother, he's been working here for six years. I came out, graduated high school, waited till I was 18, saw a drop over and applied, and just kind of staying with it. The company's been huge for my whole family, and possibly maybe my kids one day. We're not a company of numbers. We're a company of people. I think it comes from, from Red Emerson. His greatest asset is the people that work for him. It's more than just working here. You know their families, you know what they do, you know their kids play baseball. It's definitely a family operation. I went to my younger brothers that also works for Sierra Pacific. I looked on the bar stool and I seen his pay stamp. I was like, wow, you're making that kind of money? He goes, yeah. And I said, well, the next time they're hiring, then you let me know. That was 14 years ago and so that's how I got started. We treat people like family. They aren't just employees. The strength of the company is the people, number one, and that forest resource, number two. And now we'd like to thank our sponsors, Platinum Level, Tamerlu Studios, Morel Events, Far West Rentals, Sierra Pacific, Police Athletic League, Gold Level, Empire Gymnastics. And now our silver sponsors, Escazon Village Roseville, One Nest Property Management, T-Mobile, Ridgeway Family, Collision Pros, Stable Constructions, and McAllister Floor. Thank you for watching Gems TV.